fighting over a Floyd and State rival of Florida State, right? Yes, that's, that's all it takes. You know, it's, it's every time we face. Hey, listen, Florida we appreciate State. it. I mean, we had a televised game on Bright House. You just wanted to make it dramatic, right? Well, did we go overtime? Were they still able to finish the game? Oh, they're fine. Okay, good, they're good. good, good. They're good. We're they, trying to go as fast as we could, make sure that. Right, it was the opposite of last year. We went nine innings. Yes. We gave them nine innings. We went an hour over. This year, we go them a shorter version. We we probably would have been heading that direction the way that seventh inning was going. We hadn't had that last hit. So uh, that, absolutely, that last air, yeah. Tremendous. I mean, let's talk about it. It's a tremendous pitching match. Of Hamilton and Rojas are both on their game. Hamilton had that change of going or kept your hitters off balance all game long. Yes. You're down one nothing into the seventh, and now you're ju junior. Vanessa Perez fighting off pitches, takes a two strike pitch, low and in, gets the base hit off shortstop to keep the inning going, and then your sophomore Patrice Fee with a double down the line to tie the game. And then uh, it seems like drama always happens when Tiffany's around, and of course, <laughs> of course, it happened again. It happens again. Uh, she gets the hit of the third. Take me through that bottom of the seventh. Well, I, I think, like you said, you know, was we needed to get a runner on. We knew that once we had a runner on, and with our, our getting two outs in that situation, and Vanessa battling, she did what she did best. Every game you watch her, she battles at the plate. She makes things happen. She forces the pitchers to throw a lot of pitches, and when they make the mistake, then she takes advantage of it. We're fortunate enough to, to get her on, on on that situation and be able to have the the momentum our direction you know it could have gone either way that last pitch you know if you watched it it could have been a, a called a strike as, as the strike zone was this this day you know he, right. he could have called it a strike on that she was nasty with that change up was always able to kind of hit that corner every time she threw it and so for Vanessa to get on that gave kind of the momentum going our direction and um, you know Patrice you know, she she she's been working hard on on not trying too hard you know trying to throw, hit the ball out of the, out of the park, but hitting the ball hard, but making something happen, and she did that in that situation. She was able to to get it past that third baseman and, and score that run, and it, it was huge to have have a freshman be able to step up, actually sophomore able to um, step up and, and be able to come in a, in a clutch situation. And we've been battling that all season on, on that clutch, and she came up in that situation. Then Tiffany, you know, we call actually she called time out to kind of make sure that Patrice understood we're not running into that play. We've got speed going to first. <laughs> You know, we don't want to get an easy out with two outs, and, and so she made a good job coming off hard, kind of made him look, got off on a bad throw, and was able to score Patrice on that throw. So, you know, they, they settled down. They, they, they had faith in themselves, confidence in themselves, and, and just did the little things right in that seventh inning, and that was the difference of the game. And we talked to, I talked to Tiffany about that. That's where her speed is an advantage. She forces a rush throw from the third baseman. Sure. It gets off the line at first, off the glove, and it gets you a run in. I mean, Absolutely. that's the, the danger is that she can bring to the table and gets a big win in this chapter against the Florida State. A lot of history of the two programs. Right. So, I mean, you've now you have a crowd of 538 today. That's great. Uh, which I believe is third largest, I believe. We had, of course, Florida last year, and then the FSU in 08 with about 600 change. I, I could argue there's more than 538, but that's I'm well, a mathematician. I, I actually here. think that the fans made all the difference in the world. Yeah. When you hear the, the fans supporting you and cheering for you and, and rallying you up, you know, when, when you have that kind of a crowd in here, it's amazing what happens to our players. They, they really do step up and, and they realize that they're playing for someone besides just themselves. And, and it does make a difference. You know, we've got to get fans out here and, and support us. You know, we're telling everybody, come back. You know, this, that, that kind of momentum and that kind of excitement today we could have in every game. And if we have that kind of, of support. And it was, it was great. Great crowd. Um, the, the players were, were very focused today. Both teams just, just played a really hard fought game today. A game that was televised on Bright House as well. How big is it? You get your exposure. You get a win. I mean, obviously that means a lot as well. I mean, from that experience, you get a great game out of it on TV. Sure. It, it always helps to get televised and, and, and an opportunity, especially if you win. <laughs> it is it's always a, a big advantage for our program and, and for recruiting. Um, you know, the more we can get out there, the more kids that can, can see our program and see what we're about, the, the easier it is for us to be able to get some of those top kids out of Florida and, and, and our regional area. So it was huge. You know, Florida has a great game. Lonnie does a great job at Florida State. And, and we're kind of battling kind of the same situation. We're battling injuries. We're battling that. Both teams are kind of in that situation. But, you know, when you watch a game like that, you wouldn't know it because everybody fought hard. Sure. Everybody was into the game. Everybody was excited about it. So definitely a fun game to watch. Now you go to Greenville. Back in conference. East Carolina, a lot of history there. They're the defending champions. You go to their new complex, which will host a conference tournament. Uh, this is a win that can really lift up the momentum here, get some positive vibes going up there. Well, I think you're exactly right. I think a win like this will give us the momentum we need going into UCU. Um, just the confidence that, that we can come up with that clutch hit. You know, Deanna had a fantastic game on the mound. You could just see that she had the energy and, and the confidence out there. She was, she was just taking care of business. She didn't have any walks in this game, which was huge. We talk all the time about, you know, forcing the, forcing the hitters to get the hits. You know, they're going to make mistakes. And, 
And you've just got to pitch your game and, and rely on your defense to do the rest. And she did that out there on the mound. Four hits. That, that's that's huge for her. She maybe she, her best start as a night. I, her I really, career I biggest win against FSU. I think it was it was by far one of her best full games that she's had um, since she's been here. And what a great way to go with Florida State, you know, to have that kind of game with it. Uh, but but we have that confidence now. And then going into ECU this weekend, I think she's going to carry that confidence in. The players are going to be confident behind her, and, it, and all that flow is just what we need to be able to, to step in our conference now. All right, last question. Uh, great me, uh, Megan, Megan Clemente's first pitch. I was very impressed. Press, yeah. like the change up. She, she, she set the tone. She focused. She yeah. relaxed. She focused. She knew what she had to do to throw that strike. You know, she did the little things right. Right. I always talk about that. Get That's right. right. But hey, Keith Keith Triple was out here today too. You was know? he? I mean, yeah, I told him he has to come to every game now because he gave us kind of that momentum. And, I couldn't and tell. Energy. There's way too many people here. I cannot tell. There's a packed. It's great. <laughs> we had, yeah, so we had some great fans. Unbelievable. We appreciate the fans getting out there tonight. All right, Coach Gillespie, we'll let you enjoy right. this one.